where does our food come from? Do you know what the native foods of this place are? What would you have to think about to make sure you could feed your family in the days before grocery stores and domesticated animals and garden plots? Said a long time ago, we didn't know what the store was. We didn't know what money was. So that, but uh, we we had all of this. What the, what the Almighty give us, that's what we have. That I guess that they consider that their supermarket. The major staples being buffalo the deer and the elk, a lot of elk, and the fish, the fish, the, the, the trout, uh, the white fish. When I was uh, growing up, when I was about 10, we used to spend half of the year around Priest Lake. They have several families go and camp there because they can hunt, and nobody bother them. They get their deer, the ladies dry meat, ten hides. They also trap white fish in the creeks and they dry them, put them in bags and save them. They bring it home. I think when the first snow, then they move back. When it's getting cold up here, we go down to the big rivers, Yellowstone, Missouri, and there the grass is always high, and, and animals are all down there, so it's good. And our women go up these uh, creeks and the ravines there and pick berries, chalk cherries, <laughs> June berries, and of course they dig wild carrots and wild turnips. And then of course uh, there was always game, the buffalo deer. And even uh, birds, you know, there are a lot of uh, game birds here we call prairie chickens. And they're on in the prairie. And on the foothills we have what we call uh, sage hens, they're larger birds. And up in the mountains we have what we call uh, blue grouse. They have white meat. So they have all kinds of birds to eat. And of course, there's fish. Trout all over. All these mountain streams, big rivers, trout. But the crows rather eat that <laughs> buffalo than sitting fish, you know. But they occasionally they'll, <laughs> they'll get some and eat it. In June, we would go out and get the berry, berries, uh, the June berries, choke cherries. We would go and get the currants. And um, my grandma had this way that her grandma taught her. Um, instead of breaking down the, the limbs, of, like some people do, they would break down the branches of the choke cherry trees and the berry trees. She would have a big stick and she would um, lay a tarp underneath the, the, the bush and then she would hit the bush with the stick to have the berries fall off so that way the trees would still be there for next year. So the berries could come back and she would uh, laugh because it's called gobe. When you hit, she would say, wana, gobe, wana. She would say <laughs> that we would go, right now we'll you know, go hit the berries off the trees. How would you store your food? Do a lot of drying meat and fish and hang them up in the tree where the bugs wouldn't get into it. 